Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Hearken unto me, O Lord, the Bethlehem of the Son of God, O gentle light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ. Having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, God, meet it is for thee at all times to be hymned with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life. Wherefore, the world doth glorify thee. Prayer at the coming of evening. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the Son of, or the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let the mercy, thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever. Disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The prayer of Saint Simon. Now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. The first das is Life's Lessons from St. Ephraim the Syrian. It's a spiritual psalter. Joseph, who bedewed his soul with remembrance of the Almighty, was not enkindled by the fire of iniquity, and having conquered temptation, he became the king of Egypt. Let us walk the straight path of sorrow, that we might become worthy and have God as our protector. Pearls are always kept in the innermost vaults, but worthless stones are thrown out in the street as rubbish. Cleanse yourself from shameful deeds, with repentance and the reproach of the slander will not frighten you. With the help of the divine fire, we must oppose the fire of passions until a brick is fired. Is fire is soft and brittle, but when submitted to fire, it becomes a barrier against fire and water. Strive not to be a slave to your own will, but obey those who fear the Lord, and by God's mercy, you will crush the serpent's head. Endure sorrow in the Lord, that joy might embrace you. Labor that you might receive abundant reward. Neither ridicule nor condemn those who fall into temptation. Rather, pray more frequently that you might not fall into, into temptation yourself. A man whose heart is clouded by a storm of thoughts and conquered by passions does not know shame before men, nor does he fear God. Pray rather with a humble heart and do not. Make yourself a den of thieves by indulging in indecent thoughts and desires that you may not be ashamed in the day of judgment when man's secrets will be revealed. He who is negligent at harvest time will have no abundance for his household, and he who is careless now will find himself without the solace of the righteous in the day of reckoning. The second stats is, Heal me, O Lord, and thereby shame the enemy. O Lord, show me thy great loving kindness, and give me relief from the persecutions of the destroyer, for he has covered me with sores, and he stands and mocks me. As thou didst tame the sea with one word from thy lips, when the disciples awakened thee, 
So also hearken unto my groans and cries and tame the waves of the passions that move within me, aroused in my soul by the enemy of my salvation. As a woman with an issue of blood was healed by merely touching the hem of thy garment, and straight away her blood caused her cease to flow, so also may my straight away, um, I'm sorry, also may my soul from which the enemy ceaselessly draws streams of sinful thoughts be healed by touching thee just once through faith. O physician of souls and bodies, demonstrate the healing power of faith in thee. O healer of all sicknesses and the healing of my members, which the enemy has covered with sores, make my sores sore no longer, and instead cover them with virtues that the enemy who has um, rejoiced at my ruin might then be ashamed. O sinless lamb, slaughtered for the salvation of the world and conqueror of heaven, a uh, creator of heaven and earth, thy slave whom thou hast saved and given cause to rejoice shall ever praise thy grace.